Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elsie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. <laughs> well, I hope you had a good day. Um, welcome to your second class in this module three intermediate three. I'm going to share with you in a moment the class presentation. So today we you are going to learn about conjunctions, right? The conjunctions are and, but, however, and though. There are more than these conjunctions, but today we are going to focus on those conjunctions, okay? So let's see. The lesson objective. I need one person to read the lesson objectives. Only one person to read the objective. Maybe, Robert, eh, okay, Ana Patricia, please. Okay. In this class, participants will learn the usage of adverbs before adjectives. In this session, participants will now identify and use conjunctions such as and, and, but, those, and, however. Thank you so much, Anna. Excellent reading. Yes, so we are going to practice the usage of adverbs before adjectives. Yesterday's topic, we are going to continue, okay? Uh, practicing and also you will learn how to use conjunctions. So these are the activities recording previous knowledge, conjunctions, conversation time, and wrap up. But before that, I need to take the attendance. Please, when I mention your name, turn on your camera. It's important that you have your camera on and that your name, your name is uh, over there, right? Your complete name according to Dewey, according to your ID, okay? So your full name according to your ID. So let, let's start. The first person in the list is Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Are you okay, Brenda? Okay, Brenda Isabel Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Steve Rodas. Teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lopez, Cordova. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Magali. Ascent. Yes, okay, thank you, Daniela. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Daniela. Okay, Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present, Miss. Thank you, Edgar. Um, Elisa Arely Lopez. Present is. Thank you, Elisa. El Elsie Patricia de Jesus. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Griselda Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Gris. Uh, Jacqueline Liliana Enrique. Uh, Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. Jocelyn Natalia Mancia Zamora. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Karina Yasmin Nuila. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Nat Leslie Natalie Orellana. Lucía Elena Cepeda de Herrera. Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Mayri Yamilet Alvarenga. Present Miss, este, quisiera pedir permiso porque aún no he llegado a la casa y creo que no voy a llegar antes de que termine la clase, si puedo estar solo de oyente. Ok, thank you for informing. Michelle Beatriz, día. Roberto Carlos. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you, Michelle. Roberto Carlos, Fuella. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? I'm here. Okay, great. Selma Yamilet. Thank you. I'm here. Good. Victoria Leal. I'm here. <laughs> Very nice. People, okay, Benjamin. Benjamin Alejandro. Uh, teacher, you mentioned me? Yes. Uh, Stay okay. present. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ana Marisol Casamol. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Ana Marisol. And Jacqueline Liliana. Leslie, Lucy Elena, Martin Ernesto. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for connecting on time. Okay. Congratulations. Well, as I was telling you, uh, in this class, you're going to we are going to start by reviewing the use of adverbs before adjectives. Do you remember which adverbs you we studied yesterday. Which Alberts we studied yesterday? Two, very pretty, extremely, excellent. Okay, so um, well, we are going to start by um, going to this website. Okay, just give me one moment. We need to go to this website. And we are going to do an activity in this website. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, in the website, we'll practice those adjectives. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. we have adjective, we have an adverb and an adjective. For example, so sad, so sad, which means very sad, very happy, absolutely amazing, really expensive. Eggs now are really expensive, right? <laughs> totally useless, too hard. And we have the pictures. You have to tell me what is the corresponding picture to the adjective. For example, what about this picture? The sunset. What is the sunset? So sad, very happy, absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so I have to drag, I drag the picture. I drag the picture and put it here, and that's right. Okay, what about this one? Very happy. happy. Very happy. Very happy, like you in every English class. You're very happy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Very happy. Okay. <laughs> what about the Ferrari? Very really expensive. expensive. Really expensive. Really expensive, yeah. It's not possible for me to buy it because it's really expensive. Okay, what about this baby? 
so sad. Right? The baby is so sad. Okay. So sad. Okay, what about this one? Or this? Too hard. Oh, okay. The man, like, rolling the rock. It's too hard, right? <laughs> too hard to do it. Too hard to do it. Ay, ay, ay. Too hard for me to put it here. <laughs> okay, totally useless. It's like with no sense. Okay, it's the garbage. So you can see, right, the adjective, the adverb and the adjective. We can say the baby is so sad. Um, we can see my students are very happy. The sun said this. Evening was absolutely amazing. Uh, we can say Roberto bought a really expensive car, right? <laughs> and we can make sentences using this. So that was just a review to introduce the, the adverbs before adjectives. So let's continue now with more exercises. More exercises. Okay, just a brief explanation before the exercises. This is a review, remember, review. What is the structure of adverbs before adjectives, which are also called intensifiers? Intensifiers. We have the subject, the verb be, article, if it's necessary, adverb or intensifier, the adjective, and what the subject is. For example, this is like a normal sentence. Punta Cana is beautiful. But if you add the, um, the intensifier, so Punta Cana is very beautiful. So it gives emphasis, right? It intensifies the beautiful, the characteristic. Punta Cana is very beautiful. Punta Cana is a very beautiful. City. If you mention what the subject is at the end, you have to use an article and, and then the noun at the end. Punta Cana is a very beautiful city. We have the other examples. Mexico is dangerous. Mexico is somewhat dangerous. Mexico is a somewhat dangerous country. Now let's look at the dog, Rex. Rex is noisy, right? He barks a lot. Rex is pretty noisy. Rex is a pretty noisy dog, right? So the three forms that we can say. Other intensifiers too, extremely, very, which is the same as really, pretty, Fairly, which means somewhat. <clears throat> okay, so this is information for you. Now, in the next slide, we have exercise. Describe a person, describe a place, describe an object. For example, guys, let me write an example for you. Describe a person. Mm, okay, a person. Who? Okay, I will tell you about my husband. Okay, my husband. My husband is, and then think about an adverb, really, very, Pretty, too, extremely, absolutely, somewhat. Well, I would say my husband is really patient. Um, he is somewhat tall. 
or mm, no, I would say he's not so tall. <laughs> I can use up too. He's not so tall. Um, he is pretty funny. Okay. And he is somewhat generous. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm describing him and describing my husband, and I'm using the adverbs and the adjectives, right? My husband is really patient. He's not so tall. He's pretty funny, and he's somewhat generous. Now you're gonna do the same, but you choose the person, your best friend, your son, your um, daughter, your mom, your father, your best friend, etc. Also, you are going to describe a place. Okay, let's describe a place. I would say Chalatenango. Or, yeah, Chalatenango is okay. Okay. I would say Chalatenango is very big. Or it's a very big city or department in El Salvador. It has, um, let's see, it has really nice places to visit. Um, it is somewhat uh, fresh and somewhat hot in some places. Okay. So you are describing a place. And now you're going to describe an object. I would say my cell phone. My cell phone is very fancy. Remember, it's just an example. <laughs> My cell phone is very expensive. Mm, it is really fast. Uh, let's see. It is not so big. And it is somewhat or it is really useful. So I'm describing a person, a place, and an object, and you're going to do the same. You can share that in the chat if you want. I'll give you a couple of minutes to describe a person, describe a place, and describe an object. Let's practice. Any questions? ¿Qué van a hacer? A ver, que alguien me diga. Escribir una, un lugar y un objeto. Yes, and the structure is using adverb and adjective. Okay? Thank you, Edgar. Tenemos que enviarlo al chat. Please, I want to see it. Or you can open your microphone and say it. You can share with the whole class. I'll chat. <laughs> uh, me
Great. So who is finished? Was the okay? My mother is very beautiful. She's not so tall. She's angry. <laughs> she is somewhat angry. <laughs> and she's an excellent person. My son is very small. He's very beautiful. He's somewhat angry. <laughs> My best friend is a man and he's very intelligent. He's really funny. He's somewhat thin. He's pretty attentive. Wow, that's great. Margarita. <laughs> okay, good. Great examples. Thank you. What about describing a place? Let's see. My girlfriend is absolutely the smartest person I know. Wow, Edgar, you're lucky. Uh, she has brown hair, honey color eyes, and she's petite. Okay. <laughs> el Cuco Beach teacher, is. Teacher, yo lo mandé para el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, and see. El Cuco Beach is really the best beach in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. It has a very nice weather, and it's a very different beach. My computer is very expensive, has a lot of memory, has a big screen, and has many users. <sighs> Hmm. Okay, in my computer, you only use very expensive. Uh, you can you can say it has um it's an extraordinary memory. Uh, my boyfriend is really handsome. He's very tall, he's fairly funny, he's very oh, I cannot see it. He's very let me see. Responsible. Okay. Que Saltepeque is a really clean city. My house is really in clean. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, let's look at the uh, WhatsApp group. My daughter is pretty. Guatemala is a country with a cool climate. The cup is pink. Okay, good examples, but remember that you have to use the adverb before the adjective. Bye. Para intensificar el adjetivo, tiene que usar el, los adverbs. The adverbs. Very, really. Fairly, absolutely, um, somewhat, mm -hmm. another one could be definitely, My country is very small. It's a place with a lot of very nice people. And at this time, it is a fairly safe country. Good, good example. Very good, Francisco. So those are my observations for the people who wrote in the WhatsApp. Okay. It's good, good structure, but you are missing the address. Let's read, Jocelyn. My sister is a really patient. She's not so pronounced. She has like us. Okay, so we have this. Now, guys, we got to continue because if not, we can advance. Okay, in the next slide, we have some uh, exercises, okay? For example, and this, um, we have here the sub, the, sorry, the soup. Uh, we have Patrick and Bob, SpongeBob, <laughs> a guy, a lion. So you have to compete here with an intensifier. We can say the soup was, what can we say about the soup? Really hot. Okay. 
or we can say too hot. The zoo was too hot, I couldn't eat it. Okay. What about SpongeBob and Patrick? They are. Really good friends, right? What about that one? They are really good. Very, friends. very nice. Uh -huh. Okay, today is very nice. Lions are pretty dangerous. Okay, we can say pretty. Lions are pretty dangerous. Yesterday I told you that pretty. Como adverbio significa mucho o muy, no. Como adjetivo es bonito o bonita, pero también lo podemos usar como un adverbio. Pretty. What does the word somebody mean? Excuse me? What Can does you... the word somewhat mean? Somewhat, algo. Uh -huh. Algo. Okay, my sister is. Very perdón, sick. Como adverbio, pretty. Pretty. Significa mucho. Muy, muy, muy. muy. Uh -huh. O mucho. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Los leones son muy peligrosos. Lions are pretty dangerous. Como adverbio. Pero como adjetivo, bonito. Okay, sometimes money is hard to get. Too hard. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes money is too hard to get. We have to work a lot to earn some money. Okay, the students are we can also well, so or very the students are so hardworking. So hardworking is also an intensifier. Or the students are very hardworking, like you, right? Good. Okay, so those are the examples. And now in the next slide, we have more exercises. In these exercises, you have to choose what is the correct word. Okay. For example, um, though she is beautiful, her behaviors make her unattractive. So, what do you think is the best? Really? Really beautiful. Really? Very. Very? Very? Very. Oh, she's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Her behaviors made her unattractive. Okay. Number two, you need to stop drinking coffee because it is Extremely. 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 Addictive. Okay. We have more intensifiers here. For example, quite. Quite addictive. Quite. También significa. Eh, es como son what. Algo. Es algo adictivo en este caso. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. My brother speaks English. Very well. Very, very, very well. well. Yeah. Oh. Very, very well. Very. It's to go out today. Have to go out today. It's too, too hot. 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 Very, 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 smart. Smart. very smart. Very smart. Very smart. 
Um, yeah, we know it's very because two, it's like, it has like a negative connotation, a little negative connotation, too, right? Demasiado. Okay. So it's very, he's very smart, it's positive. Uh, number six, it was? Really? 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 Oh, we can use another one. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like absolutely. that. One. It was really an incredible movie. I think it was better. Absolutely. It was absolutely an incredible movie because you want to intensify that it was great. It was amazing. Number seven. It was a great experience to go hiking on the mountain. So, completely. It was, completely, it was a completely completely, completely. Nice, nice people. Barcelo is an expensive hotel, but Radisson San Jose is a much, much, much more. Much more. Is a much more? A little, a little more. We can say Barcelona is an a little, a little more expensive. Okay, we can say a little. Yes. Okay, a lion is more dangerous animal than a hyena. Extremely. Extremely. Oh, quite. Okay, a hyena is is dangerous, but a lion is. But a lion is more. Exactly. Extremely. 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 I think extremely is is more than oh, It's quite. It's quite. I will use quite. It's more. It's quite more dangerous animal than a hyena. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Oh, Benjamin is having internet connection problems. Okay. Very good, people. Let's continue with the next slide. I think we have more exercises. Teacher, podría subir un poquito la pantalla. Quería tomar captura de los anteriores. Ah, ok. Por favor, gracias. Uh, wait a moment. <laughs> Muchas gracias, teacher. Ok. Ah, I just want to uh, tell you people. Eh, ayer me preguntó Michelle, creo, ¿verdad? Sobre los ejercicios de la plataforma. Y ja, quiero decirle que estaba en lo correcto usted, Michelle. Yo me confundí. Eh, cuando pregunta, por ejemplo, en este de Is it an interesting place? Eh, this is the correct answer. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Yo le decía, ¿verdad? Que porque era interesting, era boring. Pero en realidad... No me fijé que le preguntaba, do you like your hometown? Like your, tu pueblito, right? Why or why not? Not really. Entonces la respuesta es, ¿te gusta? No, no, no me gusta. Porque por eso me mudé. O me fui de ahí. Entonces esas son las respuestas correctas. Así que, Michelle, you were right. It was just that TV commercial. Hey, now. Let's learn about uh, the conjunctions. I want you to see these pictures, these examples. Uh, any volunteer to read the bubble? Okay, you'll see. I love them, but they are too expensive, you show. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Activity. Activity three, conversation time. 
I love them, but they are too expensive. However, I should say that be sure by the doubt to look amazing. Okay. This person, the guy says, I love these shorts, right? I love them. And he receives different opinions. For example, this idea, but they are too expensive. So this idea is like contrast. You love them, but they are too expensive. Another one, another idea or opinion. You should buy them though. They are expensive. You love them, so you should buy them, though. And if you notice, though, it's at the end of the sentence or the idea. And this is more information. I love them, and you look amazing of them. And the other conjunction is, however, I love them, but they are too expensive. However, I should save up. Me encantan, pero son muy caros. Sin embargo, voy a ahorrar. Yo debería ahorrar to buy them. Okay? So, what are the conjunctions here? Which words are the conjunctions? ¿Qué palabras son las conjunciones en estas? Uh, though. Okay, though. However, too expensive, but okay, but we have but short and however, okay, but though this is the pronunciation, though, however, however, okay, let's learn about them. Okay, we use, these are other conjunctions. We are going to study in, but, though, however, and we use it to add more information that I told you yesterday. It's an exciting city and the weather is, I cannot see it and the weather is nice, okay. But, <clears throat> we contrast information. We have like a mm, positive idea and a negative idea. It's a big city, but it's not too big. Okay, it's grande, pero no tan grande. Okay, though also it's used to contrast two ideas or statements, but it's placed at the end of a second sentence. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que el do también contrasta dos ideas, pero lo ponemos al final de la segunda oración. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. Es una ciudad grande, pero... Es una ciudad grande. Ma, no es tan grande, en realidad. Oh, pero no es tan grande. ¿Ok? However, connect two sentences and show contrast and is followed by a coma. It's a big city, it's not too big, however. O puede ser como en el en ejemplo anterior, however, coma, I should say that. Usualmente se usa al inicio. En este ejemplo está al final. Pero si lo usamos al inicio, ponemos una coma. ¿Sí? Veamos más ejemplos. Pueden tomar captura si gustan. A ver, I need some people to read the examples. ¿Quién lee los examples? Who read the examples? Han estado bien calladitos hoy. Very focused and concentrated. <laughs> okay, Michelle. No, mejor Claudia. <laughs> okay, Claudia. <laughs> Okay. Um my friends want wanted want to wanted to go outside. However, it is raining. Exactly. I don't like it. Go ahead. Continue. However, I I 
agree. Agree. Agree that he's a good manager. I really enjoyed that movie. However, I prefer to book the book. I the book. Thank you, Claudia. Because as you notice, however, is placed at the beginning of the second sentence and it has a comma. It's followed by a comma. And we have two ideas. My friends wanted to go outside. However, it is raining. Okay? Entonces, tenemos una idea, pero la segunda la contrasta. Okay? I don't like him. No me gusta él. No me agrada. However, I agree that he's a good manager. Right? Francisco, what's... Do you have I, a have one, uh, I have one question, teacher. Uh, however, is uh, in Spanish is uh, como, uh, como sea o que, como lo conectamos en español? Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Solamente sin embargo? O como sea. Mm -hmm. Como sea también. Ah, okay. Thank you. I really enjoyed that movie. I really enjoyed that movie. However, I prefer the book. So these are the examples using however. Now, let's go over those. This is a, a little bit difficult sometimes. Okay, though can be used at the beginning or it can be placed at the end. It's uh, more commonly used at the end of an, of an statement. For example, though it's sunny, it's not so warm. ¿Qué quiere decir? Bueno, a pesar que está muy soleado, a pesar que está soleado, no está tan caliente. Está soleado, no está tan caliente en realidad. Oh, sí. Yeah, I think we don't have a, tra a translation for though. No tenemos una palabra en español que sea exactamente como se usa en inglés. But I think you got the idea, right? A pesar de, it's like a pesar de eso. Okay. And we have uh, another example, which is with but. Uh, hoy sí, Michelle, le gustaría leer. Please, would you like to read the last three examples? Okay, teacher. She listened to me, but she didn't understand it. I stayed at home, but my wife went to the party. We went out for dinner, but the kids were noisy, so we came home early. Yeah, we came home early. Okay, so again, we have two ideas. She listened to me. She didn't understand it. Entonces, ¿qué hace la conjunction? Une, une, todas las conjunciones unen dos ideas, unen dos oraciones. In this este case, she listened to me, but she didn't understand. I stayed home, but my wife went to the party. Yo me quedé en casa, pero mi esposa se fue a la fiesta. We went out for dinner, but the kids were noisy. We came home early. Okay? Those are the examples using but. Uh, questions so far? Or so far so good? So far, so good? Yeah, so far, so good, teacher. Yes, it's, it's okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now, guys, let's practice. We're going to practice first with N. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, in the chat, we are going to write one, two sentences linked with N. For example, the class, the class is, is interesting and uh -huh. another idea, help me. No idea. <laughs> repeat, 
repeat, please, teacher. Okay. Ah, uh, I, I was saying the class is interesting and. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Francisco said funny. Any funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the teacher. <laughs> The class is interesting and it's funny. Okay. <laughs> Next class, I will put here a red nose. <laughs> like a clown. Now you're kidding. So we have the example using and. Y recuerden, son dos oraciones. ¿Y cuál es la estructura de la oración? Toda oración lleva subjects and Adjective. Okay, in this case, yes. Subject and verb. Albers. Okay, subject and verb. Sujeto y verbo. Un sujeto y una acción, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí, ¿cuál es el sujeto? And the class is interesting. Una clase. The class. The class. The class. The class. The class. The class. What is the verb? Interesting. Interesting. No. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Very. Funny. No. Yes. Funny. Is. And. Is. El verbo es. Is. is. Ajá. The class is. is. Y el complemento, en este caso es un adjetivo. Es, es funny. Uh -huh. Ahora, en la segunda oración. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? It's funny. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? En la oración, it's funny. It's. 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 Ajá. It's, it's. El verbo. It's. 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 Y el complemento. It's. Funny. 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 En este caso también es un adjetivo. Ok. Victoria, I love your example. The class is interesting, but not with us. Okay. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> but you're using, you are using but. And that's great because it's used correctly. Está utilizando, okay. está utilizando ajá, para contrastar la idea. Sí, es interesante. Um, an entertaining teacher como complement. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the class, the class is Entertaining. Funny, funny, and, and, and it's entertaining. Entertaining. Uh, my class, my English class, sería, Michelle, my English class, siempre el adjetivo va antes de... Sorry. English. Okay. My English class is, como ya, es, ya está usando el sujeto, my English class ya no tiene que poner el it otra vez. My English class is very important for me because I really learn. Ok, está usando otra conjunción que no la hemos visto, pero es una conjunción because. Está bien, Michelle. Margarita, my cat is friendly and she's beautiful. Oh, I have a cat too and she's, she's like behind the computer. <laughs> yeah, my cat is also beautiful. Uh, your brother is a doctor and he is my personal doctor. My personal doctor. I'm hungry, but I'm sleepy. Karen, yo diría I'm hungry and I'm sleepy. Both things. Yo diría la do Very sleepy. Tengo hambre y tengo sueño. <laughs> tengo hambre y no, pero tengo más sueño. Ah, okay. In that case, I'm hungry, but I'm so sleepy. To uh, okay. Uh -huh. My work is very difficult, but it's so exciting. Okay, the class is interesting, but it's hard to understand. <laughs> I like to watch TV, but I'm asleep. Ah. Ok, Ana, yo creo que usted quiere decir que se duerme rápido cuando ve televisión. Sí, correcto. Empiezo Ahí. viendo y me duermo rapidito. Ok, so you fall asleep easily. Así sería. I fall asleep easily. Me duermo rápido. 
me quedo okay, thank you. I fall asleep in, easily. <laughs> Brian, housework is. Quería decir housework. Brian. Yeah. Housework is too hard and so bored. El, ¿Los oficios de la casa o trabajar desde casa? Oficio. Ah, ok. Ok, housework. Housework, then. Eh, sería, is too hard and so boring. Sería boring. Un día van a ver la diferencia entre bored and boring. Boring con alguien G es lo que lo... Eh, Uh, bueno, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, the teacher is boring. O sea, ella aburre a los demás. The teacher is boring. The class is boring. So, I am bored. Estoy aburrida. I'm bored. Why? Because the class is boring. Porque la clase es aburrida. ¿Ven la diferencia? Boring and bored. Bored es la persona que está aburrida. ¿Cómo se siente? En boring es lo que lo causa. Ok. More examples. Now, can you write examples using however? Can you tell me examples using however? Hello. She's intelligent, but she is distracted. Okay. Mm -hmm. She is distracted or she gets uh, distracted easily. So it's very fascinating. Victoria. I don't forget that you love proposals. However, do not gain weight. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, good example. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Vicky. Another person? Ah, um, okay, it says, I don't remember how to use however. <laughs> but, however, se utiliza muy similar a but. Vaya, por ejemplo, Griselda ha puesto My house is small, but it's nice. Co usando however sería My house is small. However, period, punto. However, coma, it's, it's a nice house. Or it's nice. My cousin is noisy, however, I love her. Okay, thank you, Margarita. I'm very tired, but I have to do my homework. Ana Marisol, también podría ser, I'm very tired, también podría ser. However, I have to do my homework. Okay, se utiliza similar. Lo único que va a cambiar es que para utilizar a however, punto, luego however, and then coma. My mother is very, I think you wanted to say angry. However, she's very funny. I have a little dog. However, it is very angry. I have to work very hard tomorrow. However, I love my job. Okay, Roberto. Roberto. I don't Roberto, right? I want to invest in my house. In my house. However, I don't have money. <laughs> yes. I want to um, renovate my house, right? Or redecorate, but, but I don't have money. Very good, excellent. Can, now, can we practice using though?
My husband is asleep. However, he is, he encouraged me with my class. Okay. Eh, Francisco, mm, I see, no comprendí mucho la idea. The party is finished, however. Uh, se escribió mal, era, however, I go, I go in right now. Ah, ok, yes, it's a, <laughs> I know sometimes the keyboard. The party is finished, period, however, coma, ay, olvidé la coma, however, I'm going right now. Okay. <laughs> ok. Now, using though, I want to, I want to see how you use though. For example, the class is late. Oh, the class is late at night. Mm, it's important though. Okay, the class is late at night. Mm, it's important though. Or though, um, though the class is late at night, it's important. It's a big though, but it's not too big though. That job wasn't very interesting. However, the pay was good. Okay. <laughs> Though it's raining, I like the night. Okay. Yeah, though can be used at the beginning of a sentence or at the end of the second sentence. For example, I I'll love chin. X. X. Hard work. Though. Okay. <laughs> I love teaching. It's hard work, though. Okay. Good. Well, guys, we have only one minute. So we had one minute to wrap up the class. And I want some volunteers to tell me. Tell me, please, tell me. What did you learn today? Give me one example. Tell me one activity you liked in this class and tell me what you need to practice more. A ver. Are you still connected? Today, today I learned about conjunctions. Conjunctions, very nice, excellent. No vi quién era la que participó, Ana? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you, Ana. One example is, un ejemplo de lo que aprendió. Um, the however and those, when use these words. Okay, very good. Uh, one activity you like, another person? Otra persona que me diga one activity you liked in this class. Hey, I love this example, Claudia. I like to study English, though it is difficult for me to pronounce. Great. Okay, which activity you liked? Or you didn't like any activity? I'm going to cry. Vicky? <laughs> uh, the activity was uh, right in chat. Right, right in is chat. Con conjunction. Very good. And what do you need to practice more? Another person? What do you need more practice? Can I me? For me, pronunciation, teacher. Pronunciation, okay. 
for me how to use however and so. Good. Okay, how do you use however and though? Mm -hmm. Roberto Eduardo, what do you need to practice more? Uh, okay, in my case, I need to, my vocabulary. You need uh, to practice vocabulary. Vocabulary, yeah. Uh, so um, maybe in the future, I'm going to learn more. Exactly, of course. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you for your comments. I'm going to try to include more speaking activities to practice pronunciation, to increase your vocabulary. And maybe I will try to send you some make more exercises to practice though and how well. Okay, people, thank you so much. Thank you for connecting to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Thank you, teacher. See Have a good night. You. See you. Good night, night teacher. See you oh. Thursday. Thursday, right? Thursday. 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 Thursday.